Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the beard. I mean the wrench. I don't know. It's kind of getting on my nerves. Maybe I should do a whole beard. What do you think? Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a really short video. I have this Moracha, and it has a little bit of a problem. It will start up. It doesn't sound good. I think it's got a valve adjustment issue. I'm going to get into that in a future video, but one thing I did notice is it smokes. Let me show you. sound real good either uh, not exactly sure what's going on could be a bent blade could be a shaft that got bent who knows Let's see if I can make this a little smaller but clearly it is smoking and when I pulled the cover off which is over here it was soaked full of oil now this particular machine came from a customer who actually bought a machine from me yesterday because he thought this one was trash so we're gonna figure out what's wrong with it but let me show you that I can make it stop smoking now I have my dipstick right cha I just cleaned it off let's put it in let's see how much extra oil there is in this thing I have a feeling we got a valve up here that's probably loose and needs to be adjusted That'll be a separate video. But for right now, I want to show you that it's well above the line. You see this line right here up my fingernail? That's the full line. And we are at least 30% too much. So all I'm going to do, and don't do this at home, but I have a special area here in my fire pit. I'm just going to Make sure you're in frame. Peanut. And I'm going to dump a little bit of the oil out. Now he just changed the oil. And that's when the problem started. Whoa. That oil is uh, a little bit thick. Or a little bit thin, I mean. So uh, that's not great. He could have blown a head gasket, which might be why it's sounding that way. Which is no big deal. But that oil is pretty thin, actually. And it is jet black with... Yeah, it's got a little bit of white tint to it. This thing has a blown head gasket. Ah. So it's not going to be just as simple as pour out some oil and she'll stop smoking. She's smoking because she's got a blown head gasket. Which is not a big deal. I guess we're going to be changing the head gasket on this. But I still want to see if El Smokerino stops. I doubt it though, because if the head gasket is blown, then it's still going to be bypassing the head gasket. But let's just see if the smoking stops. Start it back up. Don't worry, I didn't pour too much out. There's plenty enough in there to run. Let's find out. As you can see it's still smoking that's because the head gasket is blown and it is blowing oil past the head gasket and it's burning out and coming through um, we're gonna fix this thing for them no matter what the point of this video was to show you that if you have a smoking engine usually you have too much oil in it which was definitely the case here he put in more like three quarters of a quart if not a whole quart and some of it leaked out on him because there was at least three quarters of a quart in there when I checked it on the dipstick 
So if you change the oil and you find out that you have now smoking coming out of your carburetor or your muffler, first thing you should do is check your oil level, put it back down to where it's supposed to be, run it for five or 10 minutes, that smoking should go away. In this case, I know now why it doesn't sound right. It's clicking and beating in there. Uh, the head gasket is bad and he could have damaged, um, he could have damaged the, the pistons, he, the piston, I'm sorry, he could have damaged the rocker arms, uh, the valves. We'll have to find out. I'm going to pull it apart just for the sake of the video for the next video. And we're going to find out whether we can bring this thing back. Uh, he says it's only two years old, but apparently it just got overheated. So thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls. This Saturday, we're having a live stream Saturday at noon Eastern time. That's Florida to celebrate 3,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers. And I just looked at my data, over 120,000 views in the last 28 days alone. So thank you to every new subscriber. We've gotten over 350 subscribers in the last few days. You guys rock, and uh, we'll see you soon.